pity party. They like, okay, so when people call you with a problem, they're not looking for you to help them solve it. They're looking for you to help them feel comfortable in that situation. Because if they really wanted your advice, they wanted a resolution. They call you with a listening ear instead of a flapping mouth. <laughs> so, I used to always get these calls back in the day. This is like way back in the day. But I used to get these calls from a friend and my homegirls, and they'll just, you know, oh, um, I'm tired of these dudes and they're cheating on me or. job that they're unhappy at but the next day they're still there they're still in that same position and they have no intentions on moving around no intentions on doing better you didn't call me to help you you called me to talk shit <laughs> and so I don't get down like that I don't deal with you know negative energy I don't deal with uh, confusion if you will, it's just not, especially the older I get, it's, it's really bad now, like, I'm so cutthroat now, it's, it's crazy, but back in the day, it, it was a lot of me just trying to understand people, trying to, trying to understand myself as a woman, you know, and so now, now that I'm fully grown over here, you cannot call my phone complaining about a dude, you cannot call my phone complaining about friends, complaining about your job, because I'm out here, I'm a fixer. Like, I'm out here trying to figure out how we're, how we're going to get out of this. If you calling me, that's because you need some help. That's because you, you know, you tried everything you can. You exhausted all your resources. And now it's like, oh, I need to look to someone else because this is too heavy for me. That's the friendship that I give to people. So I'm not that homegirl that's going to sit there, girl, yeah, dudes ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. If these dudes and you know, that's why I never get married and I don't trust nobody. And then the next day, probably like after y'all hang out up the phone, you laying up with somebody. Like, that, that's weird to me and strange. So, just know this. Know that people, stop giving advice out here to people who, who don't take it and can't handle it. Because you, especially if you're like me and you give really sound advice, people are calling you to hear they want to confirm that what they know they should be doing is not what they're doing, but they don't have the strength, if you will, to adhere to your advice, to take your advice, apply it to their situation. But they need to hear that what, what the angel on the left shoulder is telling me is the right thing, even I'm going to follow the devil on the right shoulder. They need, they just need that confirmation. So read between the lines. And it's not about what you say to people. I found out it's about what you don't say to people. Because that's what makes people think. That's what makes them get their wheels turning. It's the things that you don't say. And that's why people may feel like conversing with me is 
off off putting because I, I am a bit evasive, but I'm just not gonna give you I'm not gonna waste my time thinking of things to help you out with or ways to help you out. And it's all for nothing because you're not gonna take my advice, you're not gonna apply my advice. Now you're playing with my time because I could be doing something else. I could be taking care of my son, my husband, my mom, my dad. I could be doing other things other than sitting on the phone with you, attending your pity party. So everybody's not looking for you to tell them something. They looking for you to sit there and, and make it okay. They want to know that someone else will remain on the hamster wheel. They want to know, oh, well, my friend's over there tripping about her dude, but she's going to still be with him just like me. So I'm going to call her because she's I'm comfortable with her um, knowing my tea because she's in my same situation and we're going to have the same outcome. All right. So I'm in six minutes. Okay. So um, tonight is my first uh, live. I did a trial live. It's, uh, I took it down, but it was back, back in the day just to see... Um, what I look like, what I feel like, am I comfortable? And it went really, really well. Um, it was, it was fun. It went really well. But um, I'm gonna do my first public um, live every Wednesday, nine o'clock standard time. It's gonna. Um, the series is called uh, Wine Down Wednesday. So I'm gonna have a glass of wine. You can join me. You can have your glass of wine, your glass of juice, your whatever you drink. But yeah, come come get a drink with me, and we're gonna um, smash on some of these topics that I that I've been talking about because people are so so interested in um, <laughs> my thought process because it's a lot different, right, than, than the norm. So yeah, um, we're gonna do wind down Wednesday tonight's um, conversation is about uh, platonic friendships. I um, tested this last night with Donizzi. And um, I got his thoughts, but yeah, I wanna I wanna talk about that. I wanna talk about is it okay for your partner to have friends of the opposite sex? So I will see you guys tonight at 9 p.m. for Wine Down Wednesday, and I'm only gonna do this once a week, guys, because I cannot. For one, I really don't like talking about my personal life. I do not like sharing my thoughts. Like I, I. I will sit there and look look at you and blink blank stare you down <laughs> so um i can give you once a week for about an hour or two and that's probably all i got all right i'll see you guys later bye